Wolfish here, guys. I uh, got another episode number four uh, of Fears to Fathom. It's called Iron Bark Lookout. Uh, I'll be playing as a park ranger in this episode who um, kind of loves his job, so it's like uh, another home, so to speak. But unfortunately for him, something goes wrong, like in every single episode of this game. Um, I'm not sure what it is. I heard it's like, uh, you know, hey, I noticed you were requesting story submissions while I was watching you to play Fierce to Father and Cross. Okay. What I'm about to recount happened when I was 24 or so at the time. It feels kind of weird telling anyone about this uh, because of this bizarre and absurd nature of the whole thing. Yeah, and there is the explanation. I was like about to say I wasn't sure what it was about. Obviously, it's something to do with the bark, like this huge forest area, but whatever. But I feel like doing so might help me process my memories of it. I knew that sharing this story anywhere else would be a dumb idea because people would say I was lying. As I'm writing this, this was the scariest experience of my life. Oh yeah, I'm Jack Nelson. I uh, had a small job as park ranger in a state park. Uh, I was a fire lookout stationed in one of the largest forests in the Pacific Northwest. Alright. Miles and miles of dense forest managed by the forestry service. I had a salary that allowed me to make ends meet, but I couldn't afford to treat myself to restaurants, nice clothes, etc. If you're a park ranger, how do you go out to restaurants? Aren't you supposed to be staying in this one location, which is like in the middle of nowhere? Anyway, uh, my biggest accomplishment so far was being able to buy an RV for myself with a lot of financial help from my dad. The RV was the only sense of home I had at the time. Uh, this one time I transferred from one outpost to another because of some official circumstances. I wonder what those were. It was a minor inconvenience to me though since I lived out of my RV and uh, I liked traveling. I said a few goodbyes and I was off to the new location. It was about a two hour drive. Okay. About two hour drive, that's like uh, just as long as people said it's gonna take to complete the game. Oh, I'm in control, okay. It's a cool looking RV. Yay! In every game I get to drive, that's kinda cool. Escape to read messages, how am I gonna read messages and drive, bro? Uh, am I gonna crash? <laughs> Did you pass? Roseburg, yeah, no, why? Uh, how's it looking? Still on my way. Uh, Mitch Scott, this one is from Kayla. This is from Mitch. Where can I park my van? So you're out on a Friday. Okay, uh, thanks. You'll probably see Billy at the gate. Just show him your ID. Gold Creek Tail from there. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, okay, whatever. Uh, the music is a bit distracting. I live the very solitary life. It's kind of peaceful, not gonna lie. It helps quiet my mind, keep the memories at bay. Uh huh. Whoa. It's a nice view. Birds. I've always loved the great outdoors. Just being surrounded by nature gave me happiness. The sun is setting. Uh oh. I, I'm not sure if it's a good idea, but whatever. I remember there is uh, this diner while passing Rose for. They have best burgers in town. <laughs> you have to try them out, yeah. I wasn't very proud of my driving, yeah. You don't say. Anyway, I could really use a good meal before. Uh, the stuff and starts. Uh, that's okay. Likely nothing. Nothing is happening to the car or uh, myself. You know, if I can't die in a tr in a car collision, which is good. Oh, this is like a residential area with some FPS drops. 
Okay. Wait, am I supposed to stop here? Hold on. Hold on. Ah, uh, I knew it. I was looking for a diner just now. Okay, that's convenient. Thank you, game. Appreciate that. Okay, I guess I have to park here. Best driving skills. <laughs> Should have taken it easy. <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, okay, so... Um, I guess I need to park. However, that... Not sure how long it's gonna take me though, but... Okay. Is there any anything important I can take from here? It is kind of romantic, you know, living out of your RV, I guess. Not sure how safe it is though, especially in the States, but yeah. It actually doesn't look that bad. I thought it's gonna get uh, gonna look worse the way I parked that is. Oh yeah, bro. Oh, oh, this food is so good. Oh, the guy's really enjoying it with closed eyes. Oh, bro, this is like food of gods. Welcome to wow, to Twin River dinner. How are you doing today? Good. How about you? Not too bad. Uh. I'll just be polite. Feel free to take any seat you like and I'll be right with you. Alright, thank you. Oh, bro, yeah, as I was saying, this guy is just enjoying his meal, taking his time. Oh, having an orgasm. Uh, either way. Oh, I just wanted to get a different song, but whatever. I was supposed to be meeting a girl, right? It says you can take any seed. Mm. What does it say in the messages? Oh wait, I'm so I'm alone. Okay. This is what you get for not reading the messages properly. I did take any seat I wanted, so... Good evening, I'm Barbara. Are you ready to or? Um, yeah, sure. I mean, I just want to get out of here. Uh, wait, hold on. Oh no, I didn't pay attention again. Uh, <laughs> I, I wanna check the messages. Is there still any way for me to do this? Oh man, real cheese sandwiches with onion rings. That sounds yummy. Meatball sub with chicken nuggets. I'll go with cheeseburger and fries. Our burger is the best in the West. Would you like anything to drink? Uh, is there? Does does it make a difference? Whatever. I'll get coffee. Perfect. Anything else? Uh, nope. That's it. Great. I'll bring the food once it's done. No, no, no. Okay. Uh, let me know if there's anything else. Sounds good. I appreciate it. She's just taking her time. I've always had a habit of peeing before eating. Oh, of course, bro. Let me guess. You go to the toilet to meet some really nice people. This guy is enjoying his coffee. What else do we have here? I really had to pee. Okay, bro. Okay. Enjoy. <laughs> oh, I I can control I can control the stream, bro. Yes, I spilled. Oh, ah oh, man, the game is not letting me have fun. I was really hoping to just not use the toilet in the correct way, but whatever. Yes, it's like step by step. Okay, anything else I'm supposed to be using? Uh, okay. Oh, this guy is gone. Right, so... There's actually a menu here, speaking of which. 
you have to try them. They have the best burgers. Yes, bro. I remember there is one diner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she just said you can try burgers. I mean, I did get a burger and some fries. And there is my food, I guess. She's just taking her time. Uh, which is fine, I guess. No tips. Uh, but yeah, it's all good, bro. All good. Thank you, I guess. Oh, bro. God damn it, it makes me hungry. Hold on, hold on. How, what about the sauces? No! No, bro! No, don't finish it! Oh, man. I figured it'll be a while before I had a meal like this again. Yeah, you don't say. Anyway. Reason why I got coffee, I was just wondering if it's gonna affect anything when you're in the game. Probably not, but just... You know. It is kinda late in the game, so... Yeah, I'm here, still eating, this is so good. Yeah. Who is she, by the way? Okay. This food reminds me you should send me like a casserole recipe you were talking about. I might get a chance to immerse myself in the art cuisine in the new lookout. Wow, yes. My way, I'm on my way home. Send you in a, send you in a bit. Ok, <laughs> I can't reply. Anyway, bro, it's such a waste. You finish all of the fries. I wanted to test those sauces real bad. Oh, now I'm hungry. It's night time now. Okay, I guess that's it. What about my belt? Did you enjoy the food? Yeah, it was great. Would you like anything else? No, just get me the check. Okay, I'll be right back. BRB. Okay, shall I just... Oh, I can't get up. Okay. Looks like there's less people. I wonder if there's gonna be anyone who broke into my van or something. Here's the check, your toll is 6-6, six, six. Oh, that's kinda cheap. Huh. Huh. Do I get karma for not... Do I get ba bad karma if I don't give her a tip? I did say no tip for being an asshole, but... Yeah, whatever. 50% tip, what? <laughs> Bruh. You're a generous tip. Thank you for your generous tip. Bro, 50%? What? It's like half of your meal. I get it that she ser she just served me, but isn't that her job or something? Anyway. Yeah, some people did disappear. I think there was one extra guy here and there. The burger guy is still... Oh, no, 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 this is so good, bro. Oh, yeah. Oh. This is so good, yeah? Yeah? Oh. Oh, he's enjoying his food anyway. Um, see you guys. Time to go. I wonder what adventure awaits. Anyway. What? Wait, I didn't... I didn't lock the door. Who's that? What's up, bro? Oh. Oh. Oh, bro. Yeah, I can tell you're enjoying it. How come it sounds like someone's taking a dump? <laughs> How's the bird? The guy's like, bro. I'm like, where are you headed? I'm from Roseburg. This place is pretty much my weekend spot. What about yourself? Just passing through. I'm new staffer at our. Nah, nah, nah. I'm not sharing that info, bro. Yeah. Or shall I share this? Or shall I? Ooh, I'm not sure, bro. Just some random dude. And I'm just going there on my own. Nah, 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 see ya. Just, just, just wanna drive. Okay. The bathroom door was strangely... <gasps> bro! Bro, I knew it! <laughs> why, why was it... Is, is it like... 
a little too obvious. I left the the RV. I locked the door. I clearly remember that, I think. And then the toilet is jammed. Of course. Of course it is. Is there a way to switch on the lights or something? How do I do this? Where's the light switch? Hello? A button? Something? No? Oh man. Ooh, yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. See, there's the thing. That's the thing. Someone did switch this on. Okay. Just my stuff. What am I supposed to do? Wait, can I actually... I don't think I can check. That would not make any sense. Yeah, obviously there are blinds there. Yeah, I can't see anything. Anyway, time to drive. Okay. I hope I'm not gonna get murdered. Okay, time to go. I wasn't very proud of my driving, you don't say. Okay, so where are we headed? At the beginning of the game it always says that the music is... royalty free. I mean, copyright free. Let's hope it is. 8.02. So I've been on the road for a while. Not gonna risk it, bro. I don't know. I want to include the location of this park. Okay. Um, how? But I don't want anyone seeking out utter hor horrors I've seen in these woods. Like what? Okay. Ooh, spooky music. There's another RV. Hey, 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 stop. Th this is not the lookout, right? It's just some kind of... This is not the place, right? I drove past the trail at first. Okay, so... Right, that is, so it's like some kind of an entrance? Oh, crap. Come on, GTA skills, please. Don't fail, don't fail me. Okay, where's the trail? What does it say? Oh yeah, Gold Creek Trail, right. I drove my RT onto the food trail. I should have taken it easy. Okay, so I'm supposed to be walking then. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, okay, how do I reverse? Oh boy. Okay, I guess I'll just leave the RV here. Easy does it. Okay. Is the toilet still locked? Yeah. No flashlight. Bro. Can't be serious. Okay, there's the trail. <laughs> Why you have to do this, bro? You idiot. Holy moly, you scared me. I thought you were one of them. One of whom? What? You scared me. Exactly. One of who? Hey Lord, ha have mercy. Oh, may Lord have... Jesus Christ. May Lord, may Lord have mercy. Anyways, can I see your permit, please? No, I'm not a camper. You're Billy, right? I'm the new transferred fire lookout. I was told to report here. 
Is that correct? I didn't know that we were hiring this season. Suspicious. Hang on, let me check on that. Okay, bro. Check. Check, bro. Okay, I'm bored. <laughs> that was quick. Okay, pal, you're good to go. You're um, staffed at Fire Tower 11. I apologize for the confusion. I was under the impression that the tower would be left unstaffed for the season. But here are your keys. Take keys. Okay. Number 11, right? Let me open the trail gate for you. Okay. Yikes. I wish I could just drive. Hey, is he following me? Since you're arriving this late, you might also need this flashlight. Oh, thank you. For the long hike to your lookout. Uh, thought I might need one. Thank you, Billy. You be careful, take this. Welcome to Ironbark, pal. Thank you. It's good to be here. Now for our purposes. Um, when we get to your tower, be sure to make your first weather report from your system, just so we know you clocked in safely. If need be, you can reach out to Tower 12 during your stuffing. Nice enough guy. Okay. He'll be your clo closest contact in case uh, of any emergency. You have a good... Uh, thank you, Billy. Huh. Hey, just a piece of advice. Don't travel any further than half of mi a mile or north of your tower. Why? Dangerous woods that way, pal. Bobcats and beers. Nasty business. You got it. I thought he was trying to scare me, but he looked that serious. Okay, it's like a mini cutscene or something. Okay, 11.32 p.m. I was long hike and it was a long hike and it was starting to get cold now. Um, which way is the tower? Yeah, tower 11, okay. Thank you, that's easy. Thank you, game. The guy sure was afraid of uh, beers and bobcats, whatever. I'd be afraid too, not gonna lie, but that, you know, it's a game, so... Must have been something serious. Tower 11. Lacy Trail, Gold Creek Trail, okay. Tower 11. Living in a fire tower is not a glamorous job. I bet it's not. Imagine being out here alone for weeks at a time, it's not for everyone. Yeah. Imagine using that toilet, but I've uh, always had fondness for the outdoors. Yeah, you already said that. I ascended the stairs uh, to the top of the tower. Once you are on the top of the tower, your job is to look for fires or anything out there. Okay. Oh, and I guess we'll definitely gonna spot something. And it's gonna be at night time. Cabin was filled with armor of wood, giving me a sense of comfort. I was finally in my new home for the next few months. Okay. Right, so I uh, need to make a weather report. How do I do that again? Where's the like a radio station or something? Forgot to turn the generator at first. Um, it's not supposed to be inside, right? Let me just double check. Uh, generator. Where could that be? I think it's definitely outside. Yeah. Yeah, looks like it. Okay. 
Lee, Lee, Lee. Generator. Lee, Lee, Lee. There we go. Ooh, what's that shed? That's a spooky shed. Um, I think we might need this for for something something. For the generator, I guess. Well, bi binoculars. I'll take it with me, just in case. There is another tower. Wow, that's a wow, that's a pretty decent zoom, bro. Nice. Okay. Oh, there's actually fuel for the generator anyway. Okay, lights on. Um. Radio equipment was sitting on a wooden table. Okay. Rainbow 98. Okay, what's the password? Uh oh. Check the Iron Bark rules flyer. Where's the flyer? These rules, okay. Lights out after 12. Ooh. Uh, simply drop. Hand it on the la. Absolutely no guess. No, 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 no. System password is Iron Bark. Tower number. Iron Bark 11, then, yeah? Rainbow 98, yay! Okay. Hello there, it's Smiley, your trusted virtual assistant. I'm here to help you make the most of your computer today. Go away, Clippy. Oh god, no? Nothing, go away. Uh, service report in Ironbug Trail Map. Flash drive media. Employee train, I guess I'll start from Welcome this. Welcome to Ironbark State Park! If you're watching this video, then let me be the first to say congratulations. What the hell? <laughs> You've been commissioned by the Ironbark Fire Department to protect one of the most prestigious parks in the state of Washington. Established in 1897, we've been known as one of the safest parks in America. We hope you can keep it that way for many years to come. I'll try. This training video will ensure that you I'll work to the best problem. of your abilities. You've been selected as one of our Fire Lookout Observers. This is a truly rewarding job which requires many hours of hard work. You will be working in our state-of-the-art lookout towers. And the following is a list of responsibilities of you will have. Keep watch for fire! Fire isn't going to be noticeable all of the time, so also keep watch for smoke. Make sure to know what color the smoke is, it may be crucial information. Fires are best stopped before they spread out of hand. Keep records of daily temperature. When the temperature rises, it is best that we have... Preservation Society requires to note all changes in temperature. We think it's best not to get into a lawsuit. Keep records of daily wind speed. Wind is a big factor when it comes to fire. Use the anemometer to scientifically gather the data. After collecting the data, input it into our state I'm of the I'm already falling asleep, not gonna form. lie. Just like... This is a highly complicated form. Halfway often through. Often used by NASA employees. So don't be too ashamed if you can't figure it out at first. You have the privilege of using such a form. Keep campers out of unregistered campgrounds. 
The campers might start a campfire which could lead to a wildfire. They will not always listen to authority, so take precaution when escorting them. Make sure to know whether the person is a threat. If you're worried about your safety, do not hesitate to dial 911. Keep maintenance of the park. Make sure the park is kept clean. We have a status to uphold. Now that you know most I think of I the duties that the a voice. fire lookout has, you're ready to start. We Isn't hope that... that you have a great season out there on the tower. Try not to damage any Sounds of the like equipment. Sounds like Jack I think. If you see smoke, don't joke. Call the authorities and notify them of the predicament immediately. Okay, whatever. Uh, flash drive media. Plant thing trivia. And we are back. So how do you feel? Fuck! <laughs> it's literally a plant Everyone's interview. Wondering, okay, <laughs> dude, that is so random. What the fuck? I mean, I guess that's pretty self-explanatory. Ro Ross. That happened right there. What did I just watch, bro? Um. Okay, I mean, that's useful, I guess. Service reporting, okay, temperature, oh no. Welcome to the state of the art service reporting software. What? Uh, yeah, shall I ask who... Connor, Fire Tower 12. I saw your light turn on. You're never alone in these woods. I've had to cover your area until you arrived. So what is it? Your name? Oh, it's Jack anyway, checking us. What brings you to this towering paradise of ours? Just looking for a change. I'm a transfer from Iron House. I'm really you tired. Fire going? Uh, fire going? No. Get her lit. The temperature is about to plummet. You don't want to sit through the storm shivering. Okay. Thanks, I guess. Um, I'll just leave it here. Matches. I don't see the smoke. Did you light it up yet? Oh Which God. Okay. Wait, what? What's beeping? There's no firewood. Firewood? There must be plenty in the shack. That's all Marley did. Marley? Who's Marley? Was in the lookout before you. She was one gritty woman. Anyways, you better get that fire going. You don't want to sit through the storm. Gasoline must be in your cabin. But if not, you can always grab your supplies from the storage shack. Okay. I mean, there is some gasoline here, right? Don't tell me it's empty. Uh, just in case, I'll just go. Might as well grab everything. Seems easy enough. The way he picked up the lumber, like the, it just looked like, uh, like what you do in Minecraft. You know the animation. Okay, that's done. Oh yeah, I need to use gasoline, I suppose. Oh oh oh! Wait wait wait! Hold on. Okay, there is, I mean, some, someone with got on the carpet. I hope I'm not gonna start the fire. Okay. There we go. Ah, I see it. I see the smoke. Okay. Nice to see Tower 11 alive again. Did you report for the night? I guess it's been a while, right? 
report for the night. No, I have not. Oh no. Did you report for the night yet? No, let me get to it. Get to it then. Here at Iron Park, you are required to report every night before signing off. You don't want to disappoint Mitch on your first night. Uh, I don't like reports. Oh, anyway, uh, what's the temperature? Fahrenheit. Uh, that's a bit tricky. Uh, okay, I think I, I I I can check, right? Is there like a thermometer or something? And I remember there was a specific tool they mentioned that we can use to um, to measure the wind or something. Ah, there we go. Okay. Seventeen. Okay, so the wind is seventeen knots. Seventeen. Okay, finally found the thermostat. Forty six point eight. Okay, the wind was forty six point eight. I think the wind speed was seventeen. Jack Nelson. I wasn't sure if I put the right weather condition. Okay, was it clear? Okay. You copy, new guy? I think I'm gonna sign off for the day. Tower 12, signing off. You have a good night, you don't let the bed bugs bite. Okay, I guess we're done. What time is it now? 11.32, report submitted, okay. Uh, I guess that's it? Do we go to bed or something? Here goes nothing. And every time we need to do 326, oh no. It's around the hour of the devil. What? what the fuck? Had to pee. No, bro. Check the messages. Connor? Uh oh. Okay, where's the flashlight, bro? Flashlight, my bro. Where'd you put it? Okay. Shall I take the bin binoculars as well? Hello? Yeah, there is a tower number 12, right? Is it? Oh, no, no, it's not. It's just... Wait. What? Space to pee? Why, you're gonna pee off the tower? <laughs> okay, I thought you were gonna go downstairs to the toilet. Well, that, that's exactly what I would do, not gonna lie, but uh, either way, any time now. And here I was getting a flashlight. Okay, I guess the game doesn't want us to go there yet. Who's that? What? Bro, what the... What the fuck? Okay. Screw that. Uh, I mean, I can't just go back to bed, right? Or can I? I guess I have to because there is no way I can go downstairs now. Stairs are still blocked. Night 2. Oh yes, bro. 
just you and the wind and the time just melts away. Mm, bro, that looks good, not gonna lie. Yeah, either way, I'll see you guys in the next one.